Well, welcome into another lesson here um, for our Godzilla and Horseman project. Today we are going to be going over keyframing uh, the lightning effect to uh, your project here and try to go over video transitions as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, if you pull up your project guide for the Godzilla and Horseman project on, let's see... On one of these pages down here, page three, um, you must have Godzilla breathe out lightning and keyframe it to move with him at least once. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Okay, so just pick wherever you want this to happen. At this point, you should have your rough cut and your title, your ending credits, and you should have background music and dialogue. And that's all you need to have at this point. Okay, uh, for me, I want to have uh, Godzilla breathe out fire right here. So Godzilla's looking at the picture, turns around and I want him to start breathing out fire. All right, I went ahead and cut a clip right here. And I want him to breathe out fire and through this entire clip right here. Okay, so this was all one clip, and then I went in with my razor tool, and then this was the end right here. Okay, and then with my razor tool right here, I cut where I wanted it, bam, and I cut it right there. And then I'm going to put the effect on this entire clip right here. And I'm gonna keyframe it to move with him. Um, you see he's kind of wobbling across. So I'm gonna keyframe it to move with him. Okay, so if you have this in your source panel right here, um, which is probably if you just edit it in and out, that's what you'll have. Uh, and then you need to find your effects. Um, different versions have it uh, different places, but you can go to a window um, and hit effects right there, or you can go over, if you have this little bar right here, you're gonna hit effects, and you're gonna find um, where it says video effects. So you'll, should see this in some form or the other. Um, so let's see. You should see this in some form or another, and then you'll hit video effects, then you'll hit generate, and then that's where the lightning effect is. So we are gonna drag this lightning effect onto our clip that we want the lightning effect to be on. And if you just play it, it's going to put it right in the middle of the screen and not move with it at all. So let's look at that. Okay, that's all we need to see of that. So uh, we don't want that. We want it to move with them. So how we do that is we double click on the effect to um, go ahead and select it, um, the clip there, and then we go to effect controls, and then we'll scroll down to where it says lightning. Okay, then we're going to keyframe it. So this little stopwatch is a toggle animation button, which uh, keyframes it basically. And this is our keyframe um, kind of like a timeline here. So we need to keyframe the start and end points of the lightning form. So we're going to move the start point to the middle of his mouth. See, we're going to make sure we're at the beginning of the clip, too. Okay. So we're keyframing. Um, and so our first frame here, we got lightning. It's coming out of Godzilla's mouth. And we're 
going to go ahead and hit the keyframe button there. And that creates a little uh, keyframe right here. This little button right here. Okay. If you use your up, down, left, right uh, arrows, you can go to the next frame. And you can see um, it goes ahead and jumps on the keyframe timeline there. So we want to go until it starts to not get in the center of his mouth right there, and then we're going to adjust that keyframe. So we are going to adjust that guy over right there, and then we're going to keep going. You see it creates another keyframe right here. And also we can um, expand out the endpoint form too. Um, hit the keyframe button there, and you see it creates a keyframe right here. Um, so keep hitting the right toggle anytime it moves away from the center of its mouth. Go ahead and adjust it, and then you'll have to adjust up and down as well. Um, but yeah, adjust you know, you can adjust all the different points of it. And we'll just kind of go through this real quick, real quick here. You know, you never want to get a frame where it's really far away from the center of his mouth. Just the height of it as well that needs to be adjusted. to wherever you choose to make that keyframe is where the keyframe is going to pop up. So So that was our entire clip, and we'll play it back and see what it looks like. Okay. So we keyframed the lightning to uh, move with Godzilla there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it uh, right here for just a lightning one. Um, and then I'll do another video with the transitions. So we'll go ahead and um, do our lightning. And then next video will be transitions.